Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I have a great video today. I recorded some video with my smartphone. The video is only two minutes long, but the video file is 731 MB. The most I can email if I try to email this to somebody is 25 meg. That is the max with Gmail and with a lot of other mail applications. In fact, here is the message I received when I tried to email it. So I could obviously upload it to some online storage site and share it from there, but I really need to actually send it to somebody. So I'm going to show you a cool feature that works on both Android and iPhone. It is called WeTransfer. It's free to use. You can upload files up to 2 gig or 2 GB. Uh, what's also cool is you'll receive an email when you've uploaded the files and you've sent them to somebody. Uh, there's also a confirmation code that you'll get in your email that you'll have to type in before the email goes. So there's a security feature built into it. And you'll get an email when the person that you sent the files to download your files, you get an email that they've downloaded them. Plus, they automatically disappear after seven days. So let's go take a look at these features. Let me show you real quick. I'm going to go on my phone to files. It is that very first video that you see, 731 MB. It is exactly two minutes long. So uh, I can't email it out. So I'm going to just simply open up a browser. I'm going to pull up WeTransfer. I just did a search for it. I've already done the search. So let me open up WeTransfer. Notice I don't even have to download the app. I just went to my browser and went to WeTransfer. WeTransfer.com is the URL. It says send a file. And just so you know this, it even says um, you can do the two gigs, but you can sign up for a free account. I'm not worried about that, so I'm not signing up for anything. I'm going to click on send a file. So I'm going to upload the file, and then it's going to need two emails. One is my email to send me the confirmation code to do it, and the second email is the person I'm sending it to. So here we go. Let me add my files. There's the 2GB right there. You can do multiple files as long as they do not exceed the 2 GB. I could actually start recording a video with my camera right here on this screen. I just want to point that out. It says camera video, but I'm going to go to files because I've already shot the video. I've selected it. So now it's going to upload. I can put a message in to the person I'm sending this to. I'm not going to type one, but I could. I could put in, hey, here's the video you requested. I'm going to click on next, but there's also start over at the bottom. Here's your options. Do you want to send an email or would you like to get a link? I'm going to stick with the send an email right now. It already has my email. I said you needed two emails. One is your email. Who am I sending this to? I'll just send this to myself so you can see this. Some, but I've got two different emails. In real life, I'll be sending this to somebody else. When I hit transfer, I'm going to need to go to my Gmail account or whatever account you used where it says your email, and I'm going to get a confirmation code. So transfer. This is so cool that it's actually just walking you through here. I've already got the code, 984881. I typed in the code. I click on verify. That is verifying that this is my email address. So that is a security feature right there. It is starting the transfer upload first. I'm just going to fast forward through here until it gets to 100%. All right, it has uploaded the file. I've got a message that says you're done. The download email has been sent. Uh, it's available for seven days. 
So the person that I've emailed this to, if you recall, I actually emailed it to myself just to prove this. Here is the email that they will receive. This is a cool feature. They can open up the email. So there's the email that they received. Get your files. They would click it to download them. It'll download. I'm just going to click it. It will download the files. They will get a message that looks like this. There it is being downloaded. It may already be downloaded. But what's cool is once that person has downloaded your files, you get an email that they downloaded them. So let's go look at that. I got one email saying my files were sent. I'm going to get the second email when the person downloads them, which the download is still going on. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really like WeTransfer. It is easy to use. It is free. If you're worried about a file having sensitive information, just make it a zip file and put a password on it. And I like that after seven days, it automatically gets deleted. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much.